In this section, we will dive into the use of truth tables to display prepositions. We use truth tables to determine the true value of a whole sentence given the true value of its parts. The commonly used letters in discrete math for truth tables are P, Q, R, and S. Let us begin by looking at a simple negation example. In this example, the statement, the sky is blue, is denoted by the variable P. The negation of P will be the sky is not blue, denoted by not P. Each row of a truth table represents the truth value assignment, an assignment of T or F to each variable. In this case, our variables are P, which represent the statement, the sky is blue, and not P, which represent the sky is not blue. Note, when creating a truth table, we want to display all possible true value assignments for the statements without duplicating any. We adapt a convention to guarantee that. The column under the first sentence variable gets a value of true for half of the rows and false for the other half. The last column of a truth table always alternates between true and false. Now, let us look at the conjunction of two prepositions and the truth table that visualize this. In this example, we will assign the variable P to the statement, the sky is blue, and the variable Q to the statement, oceans are blue. The preposition P and Q is called the conjunction of P and Q, and is true when both are true. The resulting truth table of P conjunction Q looks like this. Notice how we've employed our convention for the first column assigning the first half of the rows a value of true and the second half false. The second column alternates true and false. Notice that P and Q is only true when both parts are true. The resulting truth table of P conjunction Q looks like this. Now that we've walked through a conjunction example, let us move on to a disjunction example. This statement is called the disjunction of P or Q. Here we join two prepositions with the word or. P disjunction Q is false when both the variables are false and true when either of the variable is true. Now pause the video and try constructing a truth table for this disjunction example. The resulting truth table of P disjunction Q looks like this. Notice that it's similar to the truth table representation of conjunction, except that the combined statement P or Q is considered true if any of the variable is true.